Hi everyone, my name is Mike Sharma and I'm the Director for Medical Imaging here at North York General Hospital. We provide compassionate care to our patients and high quality imaging from some of our great technologists. What we're going to show you here is that we carry out over 225,000 procedures annually. 40% come from our emergency part department and 20% are from our inpatient department. The remaining 40% are outpatients that flow through our building. The tour we're going to provide is going to show you everything from MRIs, CAT scans, CT scans, as well as x-ray procedures that we carry out. So please enjoy the tour and let's take you over to our next step. Hi everybody, my name is Kara. I'm one of the x-ray techs here at North York General Hospital. This is one of our x-ray rooms here and I'm going to just demonstrate for you while one of the options that we have which is our wall stand here. So we do a lot of different x-rays for many different reasons um, and there are different ways that we can take those x-rays. So this room enables us to be able to do those in a variety of different ways. For example, we do have our wall stand here. Uh, we would use this for a chest x-ray while somebody is standing up, maybe a shoulder x-ray. One of the other ways that we can do x-rays is with the patient laying down on the table. So this is our tabletop here and our x-ray tube up above. So this would be for when we're x-raying somebody, for example, for a, a hip or perhaps a foot x-ray is a, sort of the uh, base that we would start with and then go from there and do further testing perhaps with CT, MRI, ultrasound. We're now going to give you a behind the scenes look at a computed tomography, also known as a CT scan or CAT scan. The CT scan is a powerful x-ray that takes 360 degree pictures of internal organs, the spine and vertebrae. Wanda, a CT technologist, will show us how a CT scan is performed with a patient being tested for kidney stones. What we're doing is we're doing a CAT scan and we're looking to see if you have any kidney stones. Okay. Um, and so in order to do this test, uh, we're not injecting any dye today, we're just doing a plain CAT scan of your um, kidneys and your bladder. Here are some instructions in the machine. Um, it will tell you to breathe in and hold it. Okay. You just follow those instructions. It's very very easy to do. The time that you'll have to hold your breath is probably about five seconds every time, okay? okay. Now that the patient is in the CT machine, Wanda goes into the radiation safe control room. On the computer, she selects the body part being scanned, follows the prompts, and starts the test. We are now taking you behind the scenes of a magnetic resonance imaging test, also known as an MRI. Farhad, an MRI tech, will explain the safety precautions taken before someone has an MRI, how the machine works, and the difference between an MRI and a CT scan. That's uh, one of our machine here, the Siemens machine. It's a very strong magnet, so for us, to accept the patient here, we have to go through a lot of uh, safety questions with them to make sure that they have no implanted devices, loose objects in their body or had any surgery done before that has some metal in their body. The MRI is very good for uh, soft tissue like brain, abdomen, muscles in your body, tearing your shoulder, your knees. But here there is no radiation involved so it takes quite a long time for magnetic field to magnetize your molecule in your body, demagnetize it and then they can produce the pictures. That's the reason it takes longer than CAT scan. CAT scan might take about you know, 20 seconds to do the scan. Here it takes about 20 minutes. In summary, an X-ray and a CT scan use radiation, and the process of taking images is comparatively faster than an MRI.